Um, back in the day, there was a group called Rockwell. Rockwell, and I know I'm dating myself right now, but that's okay. There was a group called called Rockwell, and Rockwell had this song. And, and y'all, listen, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I was a little afraid of the music video that came on MTV. Some of y'all don't. Yeah, MTV used to play music videos. But anyways, the, 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 the song, it went like this. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Like, like, that's how the song went. He said, there ain't no privacy. Oh, I always... So, some of y'all know the song. If you don't know the song, just go ahead, Google Rockwell. I always feel like somebody's watching me, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, why do I bring that up? Because, honestly, when I think about Rockwell and I think about that song, there's a lot of truth to that statement. People are always watching you. And I would dare to say people are, are always reading you right they're reading you from the time that you show up they're re now they may not say anything to you but they're reading you they're watching you right yeah good morning good morning look you made it again they, they tried to take you out but but you made it again good morning everybody it is your guy philip edge and welcome 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 to the edge energy shot the podcast that helps you move from self-doubt to self-assurance become a better leader and create higher net worth through a greater self-worth we come to you every single monday through friday 7 a.m eastern to get you going so that you can get your day going, man. I'm super excited that you are here with me today. And listen, y'all, I'm telling you right now, we got some goods for you today. We got some goods for you today. I, I, I definitely have an amazing podcast session that, that I want to um, unveil to you, my, my, my people on today. But listen, I, I know that there are some of you who are not able to stay with us until the end of the podcast today. Um, we try to go about 15, 20 minutes. But, but if you're not able to stay with us, let me go ahead and just give you the spoiler alert, okay? All right? The spoiler alert. For those of you who are going to stick with me, well, maybe you want to close your ears right now. But, but here's a spoiler alert. And then I really want you to think about this. Did you know that, that, that even before you start talking, that you're speaking? Let me say it again. Even before you start talking, you're speaking. Yep, that, that, it's true. Before you open your mouth, you're communicating. And watch this. People are reading everything that you are saying. The, the question is this. What are you saying, number one? And number two, are you doing the right things to get people's attentions? Well, you, do you want to know what I'm talking about? All right? do, if you want to know what I'm talking about, well, you need to make sure that you, you know, catch me on the other side of the Edge Energy Shot because today is going to be electrifying. And we are ready. I hope you're ready, man. Let's, let's go. Come on. Come on, other side. Let's... Hello, hope. Everything that I have that's within me is all that I need with my God by my side. Hello, How every time they turn around, I'm still winning. Regardless of feelings, I'm pursuing greatness, greatness, greatness. My destiny's greatness, greatness, greatness. I'm pursuing greatness, greatness, greatness. My destiny's greatness, greatness, greatness. Yes, we are, right? We're pursuing greatness. Our destiny is greatness. And you are tuned into the Edge Energy Shot today. Now, listen. Before I give you the goods, we got to make sure that, that you're in the right space here. We got to get our minds right, because if you get your mind right, everything else going to be all right, okay? So we do that around here by, by doing a daily declaration, and I believe that it is my job today to ignite the spark inside of you that's going to transform you from a dreamer to a doer and from a doer to a conqueror. You can conquer this day and win. So let's change the atmosphere the way that we change the atmosphere here on the edge energy shot is by doing our daily declaration now listen y'all just repeat it after me just say what i say this is what i'm saying y'all ready here we go i am in the perfect position now y'all said i am in the perfect position at the opportune moment at the opportune moment, fulfilling my perfect purpose, connecting with the right people, and expressing the right words. Come on. What God desires, I desire. What God envisions, I envision. And the highest 
blessings of heaven are being released in my life right now. I agree, and so shall it be. I agree, and so shall it be. I agree, and so shall it be. That is our de daily declaration. We say it every single day to help us to get our minds right, to get focused on the main thing, because if we keep the main thing, the main thing, everything else going to be all right. So check this out. Check this out. Um, back in the day, there was a group called Rockwell. Rockwell, and I know I'm dating myself right now, but that's okay. There was a group called called Rockwell, and Rockwell had this song. And, and y'all, listen, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I was a little afraid of the music video that came on MTV. Some of y'all don't. Yeah, MTV used to play music videos. But, but anyways, the, 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 the song, it went like this. I always feel like somebody's watching me. Like, like that's how the song went. He said, and there ain't no privacy. Oh, I always... So, some of y'all know the song. If you don't know the song, just go ahead, Google Rockwell. I always feel like somebody's watching me, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, why do I bring that up? Because honestly, when I think about Rockwell and I think about that song, there's a lot of truth to that statement. People are always watching you. And I would dare to say people are, are always reading you, right? They're reading you from the time that you show up. They're re Now, they may not say anything to you, but they're reading you. They're watching you, right? And, and literally, you are communicating even before you start talking, right? My question for you is, is what people are reading about you? Is what you're presenting to people, is it matching what you're saying? Be because if it's not matching what you're saying or what comes out of your mouth, listen, it creates a disconnect and a disconnect in the minds of the people that you're talking to. And that disconnect, it breeds distrust. Now, here's the interesting thing. In any relationship, in any relationship, personal or professional, the key is for us to create relationships that are built around trust, right? We want people to know us, we want people to like us, and we want people to trust us, right? No, like, trust. That's what we want. That's how you build relationships positively in the workplace or in your personal um, realms and spheres, right? So today, I want to talk with you and just share with you some insights around this idea idea of communication, especially speaking and communicating before you even open your mouth. Now, there's some research done by a guy out at UCLA. His name is Dr. Albert Morabian, and he speaks about communication. And what he says this is, when we communicate, your communication is comprised of three different elements. It's comprised of your verbal element, your vocal element, and your visual element right? He says those three things combined, they equal your entire message that you are communicating. So if you hit the verbal, the vocal, and the visual, people will receive what you were saying. If one of those is off, well, then the message that you're communicating is going to be off, right? So going back to Dr. Morabian's research, the kicker is very interesting because he says all those three components, right? They add up to something. They add up to effective communication, so my question for you would be, what percentage of each of those elements equal effective communication? Well, Dr. Morabian would say this. He would say the verbal element is only 7% of the message. He would say the vocal element is about 38% of the message. And then if you're a mathematician, you know that the visual component, that visual element, what's left is 55%. I don't know about you all, that's kind of like a big deal. Because what it speaks to us, it says this, that people are watching us, people are reading us, and people are looking at us, and we have to make sure that what they see when we are communicating is the same thing, and it matches what we say when we're communicating. Because remember what I said earlier, if it doesn't, well, then there is distrust and you don't want distrust all right you don't want distrust so listen i just want to give you a couple things that, that are going to help you to make sure that your visual right the things that people are seeing it matches and that's that's what i want to give you today all right just a couple practical things that you can do today let me give them to you number one i need you to be aware of your body language 
Let me say it again. Be aware of your body language. No one understand that your body language, how you show up, it carries and speaks volumes. So you have to make sure that if you're presenting live, you got to stand up tall. You got to have good posture. You got to make sure you're gesturing, right? You got to make sure that you do things like avoid crossing your arms. Because for whatever reason, when you cross your arms, it just makes people think that you're mean. I feel mean right now, by the way, right? So we have to make sure that our body language, it matches the things that we're saying. We don't want to convey nervousness. We don't want to convey defensiveness. We want to make sure that we are projecting confidence through our body language. And what happens when you project confidence, naturally people are going to be drawn towards you. So be aware of your body language. Number two, you got to make eye contact. You got to make eye contact. The, the statement is true. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. You have to make eye contact when you are speaking to people. Don't speak to people and be looking off because they're like, is something wrong? Is, is there something that I need to be looking at? Right. Make eye contact with people when they are looking at you and when you are communicating with them. Now, I'm going to say this. On average, you want to keep eye contact between three to five seconds. On average, when you're in a live environment, you want to keep eye contact between three to five seconds. If any shorter than that, it makes it look like you're fidgety, right? Any longer than that, people are like, are they grilling me? What is going on? It's like they're piercing and looking straight through me, right? So again, eye contact is extremely important, but we want to make sure that we're giving the right eye contact three to five seconds. Now, if you're in a virtual environment, listen, I I'm going to say this. Listen, listen, listen. You, you got to get this. This is going to be good for you, right? This it's worth the price of admission. If you are in a virtual environment and you are talking to people in a virtual environment, look, look at the camera. Don't look around everywhere. Look at the camera, especially when you're conveying important information. I know sometimes, you know, I'll look off over here or over here because I got different things going on and I got to make sure that everything is still working properly, right? So sometimes I'll have to look at it. But if I'm trying to make a, a point, I want to look right into the camera because that's me looking right into your eyes. Now, here's the thing. We have to make sure that we're practicing eye contact. You got to practice that thing, right? So, so even in your mind, today as you go about, I want you to tell yourself, listen, I'm going to practice making eye contact with people. Today I'm going to make eye contact with people between three and five seconds, and I'm going to let them know that I am engaged because I'm making eye contact with them. So remember, you got to watch your body language. You got to make eye contact with people. The last thing I'm going to say is this. You got to dress the part. You got to dress the part. Remember, people are reading and watching you when you show up. And if you show up and you are not meeting that expectation, they are not going to pay you any attention. And that's a problem, right? So, so here's the general rule of thumb. If you are going somewhere, the rule of thumb is to always show up one level of dress above whatever your audience is going to be. Why do we want to do that? We show up one level above because they will then know who is the person who is in charge? Who do I look for? Like, like literally, sometimes when I go places, I will be one level above what I think everybody else, and people will come to me, and they'll be like, hey, so let me ask you a question. I'm like, I, I ain't even in charge today. I'm not even in charge today. But people naturally will go to the person who looks like they are in charge. So I need you to make sure that you dress the part, right? Dress the part, because dress matters your visual appearance matters if you show up and you look in ragamuffin you look in ragtag listen it 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 removes the trust and people are not they're like no no nah, nah. i i ain't even listening to what they got to say cuz they don't look the part listen if you look the part you're going to be in the door right Right? Looking the part is half of the battle, so please make sure that you find your style, right? Don't try to be anybody else, but but do you. Find your, find your style, find the way that you like to convey your message, and make sure that the message that you're conveying matches the look that you got going on, all right? Deion Sanders said it this way, if you look good, you feel good. If you feel good, you play good. If you play good, they pay good, and it's the, tr it's the truth. And it's truth in your life on today. So what can we do to make sure that we're showing up and that, and that the things that we're speaking are the things that people are seeing? Number one, you got to make sure that you know and that body language and you own your body language. Number two, you got to make good eye contact. And number three, you have to dress the part. When you do those three things, listen, 
you are engaging people and they want to listen to you. And and that, then you can build an environment where people will know you, they will like you, and they will trust you. And that will change the game for you. Now, listen, I am super, super excited to share with you all. Um, I, I got something coming up. It's called Leading Without a Title. It is a fantastic opportunity to take your leadership skills to the next level. Literally, it's a six-session online course where I'm helping people delve into the heart of leading without a title. It is a transformative program, and my goal in it is to equip you with the tools and strategies to unlock your true leadership potential. Now, listen, I don't want you to miss out on a chance to become the confident, influential leader that I know that you are, one that makes a real impact. So listen, in the comments box today, I'm going to include a link for you to get on the waiting list for this this course that, that is coming out and listen i'm telling you right now um visual communication is a powerful tool i want you to be able to leverage it i want you to be able to convey confidence with it i want you to be able to captivate others and become the influential force that you are destined to be so i'm telling you right now don't wait don't wait go to the comments box Click that link, go ahead, get on the waiting list so that you can become the most effective leader that you can be. Now, listen, that's all I got for you today. I hope that you enjoyed the session. I hope that you're going to go out and do the things that I told you to do on that body language, make positive eye contact, and make sure that you dress the part, right? That's it. That's all I got. That's it for the Edge Energy Shot today. Now, listen, join us Monday, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for another insightful podcast. I appreciate you, my family. Stay confident, stay influential, and stay ready to make a lasting impact. It's your boy, Philip Edge, man. Y'all get out of here. Get your day going. Go do it. <laughs>